Hey everyone, welcome to a Shway at Schwarbidge, a Batman, Bat Fan, Bat Review, Bat Pod, Bat Cast. I'm Will. I'm Jack. And I am a horseman. Come to save the day. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, so on this episode, uh we got you know, we got our our, our we got some Batman related topics as always. Anyone want to want to bring us into this first one? Yeah, we have something r- unprecedented today. Uh, we're going to be reviewing an episode. We have an of... inexplicable topic. <laughs> inexplicable is a great way to describe it because we will be reviewing Beware the Batman episode 5 today entitled Broken. Mm-hmm. Man, for all of you at home who said what's Beware the Batman, that's valid. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a it is a, a CGI uh, animated Batman TV series that I would tell you more about, but nobody watched it. Nope, including me. D- did you all have any experience with this show before watching this? Uh, I had this watched my first three time. episodes. I had watched three episodes in my life, including this one. Um, not me. I had never seen the show before, ever, 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 ever. Heard a lot about so it. We, we had a combined total of three episodes watched before. <laughs> <this>. <laughs> yeah. and, yes, yes, um, and yeah. What is it? What would it be now? Because you guys yeah, have both watched one now, but it's the same one I had already watched. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so we're is, at five. is it five episodes or still th- okay? Okay. Uh, anyway, this sub- well, we've covered three episodes of Grand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Quentin, tell us about the episode. Wait, before before we move on to the to the episode itself, I, w- I want to do one more thing about the show itself, the mm-hmm. Beware the Batman. I just want to give a little bit of background that might help people understand this show oh a little more. Mm-hmm. This is something I call the HBO Max search test. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you may know. Most Batman media is on HBO Max, so if you type in Batman, a lot of stuff comes up, right? And it's ordered, and I think, I would assume the amount of people who watch that thing, it's like ranked in that way. There's something like that, right? Probably. Uh, that sounds right. I don't know that, but that sounds right. So I just want to give some benchmarks for, for Beware the Batman, so... The the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight movie is the very first thing that comes up if you search uh, Batman. Of course. Mm -hmm. Batman the Animated Series is at number six. Okay. Yeah. The Batman, the cartoon, which we covered previously on our uh, special episode, is at number nine. Oh, my God. Mm Mm-hmm. Batman and Robin, the live-action movie, is at number 16. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Mm-hmm. Batman the Brave and the Bold, which we also talked about, is uh, episode is not sorry not episode it's it's search result number 21 yeah huh and then beware the batman sits at search result number 31 ah <laughs> good god right behind lego right behind lego dc batman family matters at number 30 <laughs> we should watch that that's a lego version of the red hood story yeah i don't think that's deserved this certainly deserves to be more highly regarded than Batman and Robin. Well, it's not oh, it's... highly regarded, just how much people care about it, which I think... <laughs> okay, I guess. That's, that's true. From a distance, this show um, really... Ugh, I, I, I found it very unapproachable because, of, of course, like it never... I've heard that it never was resolved. I... Will knows more details than I do about that, but I've I've heard that before thrown around. Um, yes, the 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 season one ends in a cliffhanger, and season two was like like killed in the crib. Like they never started working on it, which is a barrier to entry. Um, mm-hmm. The animation style, I think, the note that I wrote down before I actually started watching the show, um, I thought that it looked like batman's snippet in the justice league intro but if they made a full length <laughs> series about it oh my god uh, i actually think that there is a part in the intro for beware the batman 
that almost exactly resembles the movements that he does mm -hmm. in in that. Can we talk about the intro real quick? Yeah. Um, cause, cause it's a certified banger. <laughs> if it was longer, I feel like I feel like it like ramps up to nothing. It's like it's like if a song was just building up to a beat drop and then just end. It's it's very much an intro, not an intro song. Like mm -hmm. it's 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 an it's not yeah, it's I don't yeah. know. It never stood it didn't stand out to me especially. It's very Here's what I'd say though. Um the intro song is also the outro song, except the version that they use for the outro is in fact longer. Y yeah, but they it doesn't have the lyrics. It has the all important the one lyric at the end, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> where it goes beware the batman that's going to sound awful to a listening audience <laughs> oh terrible horrible see even it, they do that in this show and the batman where at the end of the intro it goes the batman i i i, I wish yeah, they yeah but this one says beware i wish they did i wish beware. they did that for batman the animated series where it just went like batman the animated series <laughs> <laughs> okay Batman, uh we have spent seven <laughs> minutes not talking about anything uh quentin would you care to describe the plot of the episode please of course i would um so in in it's very uh in very basic terms i really enjoy the atmosphere that the uh beginning of the ep uh episode brings uh, i'd say mm -hmm. this first half is probably preferable to the second half for me it opens on the shot of um Humphrey Dumpler, also known as Humpty Dumpty, sitting over a board uh, where he has a bunch of toy soldiers. Um, and from there, we cut to him encasing people within larger versions of these toy soldiers all over Gotham. Batman eventually finds a connection back to... Oh, I'm forgetting his name. It's something well. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tobias Whale. Tobias Whale, who is a mob boss, and they learn, they connect it back to um, Humphrey. Uh, at that point, Commissioner Gordon is kidnapped and taken to a castle that's just sitting in in Gotham. Yeah, I never understood the castle. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, don't question it. Uh, <laughs> don't question ye it. old castle Gotham. Um... <laughs> It would have been cool if it was, like, Wayne Manor or something, because that was, like, the most castle-like building. Mo yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't. Um, oh, also, there's a B-plot where this lady that I don't know her name apparently has a soul sucker sword, and but Alfred's got it. And <laughs> oh yeah, that is that is probably total nonsense. Um, I, oh, I, do we even want to talk about the B plot? I I do because I I did a little research to figure because I also would upon first watching yeah, had no is, idea who this so, was, but I let, looked let it up. Let me just prefix this real quick to the audience. Um, in Beware the Batman, Batman's sidekick is not Robin. It it, it they they introduce and do the origin story of Katana. Oh, um, yes. you may know her from hit movie Suicide no. Squad. <laughs> Um, yeah, but that that was Katana, Quentin. That was Katana? It was Katana. That was Katana. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I think is really great is that the sword in question is the exact same <laughs> thing from Suicide Squad 2016 they were talking about where it traps the souls of its victims. Yeah, that's, that's her yeah. thing. She's got a magic sword. I haven't so. watched that movie in a very long time. You, you don't need to watch the movie, you just need to go watch the 30 second scene in which they introduce Katana because it's really <laughs> peak cinema. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna read one of my notes real quick. It was, um, uh, this is, this is Alfred, he's got my back, Katana probably. That was in quotation marks. <laughs> that was funny. Anyone else think that Alfred looked kind of like Lex Luthor in this show? A little bit! Yeah. I, I, I like that they tried to make him look like younger because this is meant to be like early in batman's career but he, he just looked like a guy with a <laughs> good design they i mean they literally made um, him agent, <laughs> agent seven yeah. from hitman yeah he pulls a gun on katana when she tries to talk to him <laughs> at one point don't, don't what did he say don't walk up on an ex spy while he's making don't a sandwich walk up on an <laughs> <laughs> that was um, one of the like good 
good lines I, I like. Well, another one is when Batman asks the Batmobile for Humpty Dumpty's <laughs> last known <laughs> location. <laughs> and it says, <laughs> on a wall. <laughs> Listen, uh, from what I've seen of the show, Humor is pretty much always like like it. It's very funny. Um, yeah, I I think at the, the, one of the so at the start of this episode when two civilians happen upon one of the toy soldiers, like before anything, before uh, we find out that the suits are actually bombs, and before the toy soldiers start shooting at people, the cops immediately tell them to go away. And I think that's that's good initiative because if you live in Gotham and there's a weird statue, <laughs> just probably dangerous. That's yeah. Good on. Sucks for all the street artists, but you know. <laughs> I I do like how this uh, how Commissioner Gordon's relationship with Batman is is still a very much like they don't quite they're not quite mm-hmm. on good terms yeah. because when Batman first shows up, Gordon <laughs> just says like, "What are you waiting for, guys? Go arrest him." <laughs> he's like up on a <laughs> like yeah. a ledge, like he's not accessible <laughs> to the police. Man, Batman looks. He looks weird in this show. Very. I it's 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 the head. It's the head. This is this is something hilarious. Bruce Wayne doesn't show up in this episode, but for some reason Batman has half the forehead that Bruce Wayne does. It's what? wild. Yeah, I'll I'll throw up something on screen at this point. Quinn, if you want to look up an image of Batman and Beware the Batman and see that his head does not fit in the Batman suit. Oh my god. Wait. Uh Bruce Wayne, <laughs> beware! I can't. What? I'm just this gonna... is what he looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my! And also, if you look at like, like he has like twice as much forehead as Batman does. It's amazing. That is that is true. Maybe I actually I'm trying to find an explanation for that. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Every time mm-hmm. anyone Googles something on this show, I'm just going to think back to when Quentin accidentally Googled Batman finance instead of fiance. <laughs> finance. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a classic, classic bit we did. Mm-hmm. What even happens next in this show? So, yeah, Batman finds out that the guy crammed in the suit worked for Tobias Whale. So he goes to, to get some information out of him. And we're treated to what is honestly a really nice fight scene. All of the action, like, I'm, here's what I'll say about this. I did not particularly enjoy the action presented because a lot of it wasn't, like, captivating set pieces. Like, a lot of it was toy soldiers shooting lasers Mm -hmm. and Batman dodging. But, like, what was there and what they presented using those concepts was really good and fluid. Like, this scene of him beating up these guys is really cool. I also want to highlight the goons real quick. Because I think if if someone has issues with this show, I I think it's all, like, personal. Like, this show does not lack quality. Um, like, all the goons have, like, their own unique, like, models, because this is, like, a 3D show, when you could have just copy and pasted them. Like, they're all wearing different outfits and are, like, different body types. One of them's wearing, like, a suit jacket, and one of them's wearing, like, a hoodie and, like, a, a, like a cab driver hat. Like, they do not look like a cohesive group, and I really like it. It's like a uh, level 1 crook versus, you know, a level 10. Level 10 boss. Batman. Bat boss. Mm-hmm. I like that Tobias Whale had a W as his, be- <laughs> as his belt buckle. I yeah, I hate so- his design so much. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias Whale, is he a real, like, character? Yeah, is- I think he's just... Th- this show went out of its way to use minor characters to kind of give them, like, light. But yeah, he- he's real. Yeah, well, I mean, Tobias Whale was probably identical to about 50 other Batman characters that you could... <laughs> <laughs> Very true. You know, Except for him looking a little bit like Thanos from Marvel. But. True. <laughs> yeah, but Humpty Dumpty doesn't say that, so it really could have just been everyone. <laughs> I I think the using minor characters thing uh, both serves to benefit the show and at some points hurt it because you get you get people like Tobias Whale, you get people like um. <laughs> Humphrey Dumpler. 
Humphrey, Humphrey Dumpler. Jeez. I say his name right, but I doubt myself because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Because it's so ridiculous and stupid. Because <laughs> it's stupid. Um, <laughs> I... Why can't any Batman villain just have a normal name, like be a high into there? <laughs> Edward <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Ed... what, what's fucking Poison Ivy's full name again? Uh, Pamela Lillian Rose, Rose Isley. Isley. <laughs> and I think that might be the third time we've brought it up on this show. It, because it's insane. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's fucking, yeah. yeah. Ba- Batman, uh, there, so there's, there, there's a point in time where some more people get trapped in these bomb suits, and uh, Batman goes to save, like, there are two of them about to shoot each other with cannons, like, they're, like, gonna accidentally kill each other, <laughs> and a cab driver pulls up on the scene I when love Batman's, the cab like, driver. trying to save them. Favorite character. This is my favorite <laughs> Batman character. Uh, I literally wrote down every line of dialogue he said because it's amazing. Uh, Yo, Batman, I think there's guys trapped in there. (laughs) You missed. Whoa, nice shot, Batman. All this is said by an unnamed cab driver who just for some reason is there for the whole scene. I'm a big fan of the you you missed. (laughs) Batman just throws like a... A, a, ra- a batarang at like a at like a a post like a lamp post to get it to fall like in between the cannons, which is probably a really stupid way. It does work, but a really stupid <laughs> way to resolve the situation. And in that moment, I can just imagine the cab driver being like, "Damn, Batman, fucking sucks." <laughs> <laughs> he was so far off. <laughs> he missed so bad. Um. And then Batman, he goes to Commissioner Gordon and is like, like, is there a connection between all these people? And Gordon's like, oh yeah, the Dumpler case. The Dumpler and, case. <laughs> and we learn that Humphrey Dumpler was a, <laughs> was a genius criminal accountant for the mob. Um, so, yeah. That's not... It's weird because, like, like they're, they're, they're using obscure characters... But that's not Humpty Dumpty's origin. That's 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 the calculator. Yeah. That's they they took another obscure Batman origin and gave it to Humphrey Dumpler. Well, um I think I can explain it, okay? So, at the beginning, they had a list of villains that they wanted to use that they thought, you know, didn't get touched on enough. Um, and then the network came to them after they released episode one, and they said, we're not giving you a second season. And they were like, well, we have enough villains to fit two seasons. And then they were like, well, you're just going to have to fit them in one. So what they did is they swapped out the origin for the villains that they inserted in so they would cover more ground. So this is this is not Humpty Dumpty. This is a weird Frankenstein of Humpty Dumpty and the calculator, you're saying. Exactly. Sure. I'm too, yeah, sure. Who knows? Someone's <laughs> got to. If, if anyone in the world has to be the person to, like, care and think about it, that, it's us three. <laughs> like, that is our, our role. <laughs> I'm going to email the producers. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, they're gonna Beware the you're Batman. Gonna, you're going to email the Beware the Batman producers, and they're going to be like, what the fuck is Beware <laughs> the Batman? <laughs> Oh, uh, just search Batman and scroll down to result number thirty-one. You'll find it. <laughs> Thirty. Um, I also really like how Batman starts calling him Humpty Dumpty before he meets him. Like the fact that Humpty Dumpty has chosen like the nursery rhyme aesthetic and calls himself this is coin- completely coincidental. Like he doesn't introduce himself to Batman as Humpty Dumpty. They both independently start calling him that. It's wild. Well, he's probably able to figure it out. I could see how he would do it by mistake. Yeah, it was probably a slip of the tongue <laughs> that just continued on. Then Humpty Dumpty uh, kidnaps Commissioner Gordon. Uh, the the one thing on it, this the animation I think is mostly pretty good. Except mm-hmm. the, except for uh, one moment where uh so commissioner gordon is being attacked and he go and he tells barbara uh his daughter to run away and oh, there's God. a shot of of commissioner gordon standing there with barbara in the background if she's not running in place she's at the very least going much slower than she should be for the way she's like like running it, it very much just looks like she's running in place in the background I, I don't know if i would say that the animation is good besides one mistake 
I think it's competent, but I don't, I don't really know. If, I, it never really worked for me, honestly, the style of the animation. Yeah, but I think I think that's, you know, like a subjective thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think you can no, say No, it's not a technical poorly. failure. Mm-hmm. It has objective quality, but uh, it's subjective, uh, like, you know, quality on top of that. Yeah, true. Uh, next thing in my notes is, man, the Katana B plot sure digs, does exist, yeah. doesn't it? I don't think a, anything happens in the B plot. <laughs> <laughs> we get a shout out to Silver Monkey, who I don't remember. I know he shows up eventually, but I don't remember if that's before or after this. So maybe they introduced a future villain. Who knows? I was expecting, with the way the B plot was, I was expecting like Katana and Alfred to like come aid Batman. But- the the show has an overarching plot that you know this this was the B plot was fueling into the overarching right. plot so yeah um I don't here's a complaint though a thing that since neither you even knew this was katana you probably don't care Soul Taker Sword isn't even a katana why is she gonna call herself that Does she have another sword like previously in the probably. show I don't know I didn't I it's Beware the Batman who knows. <laughs> Uh, then what happens next? Batman, he goes to Humpty Dumpty's grandma's house, who Humpty Dumpty probably murdered. He murdered her in the comics, and it said she died suspiciously in the show, so she probably killed her. Um, that or she was killed by the mob. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Humpty Dumpty has a model castle there, and Batman goes, of course, he's at the castle. (laughs) <laughs> Which is, I guess, just a thing in Gotham, but he does, like, did, like, uh, what, another thing I appreciate, another cool bit of animation, Humpty Dumpty's toy castle is not the same as the castle that is actually there. They, you know, didn't copy-paste again, they made two models, and I appreciate that. Hmm. Then, t- the climax is, is, is so boring, though. <laughs> is it just me? Honestly. Ah. Uh... No, okay, okay. The fight, the fight is boring. I think. Oh, the, the fight chase, is very boring. The chase at the end is is actually, I think, really cool. It's peak yeah. Beware the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the Beware the Batman episodes I've seen, <laughs> mm-hmm. this is definitely the best one we've reviewed on the show so far. Oh, for sure, for sure, for definitely. sure. Definitely. Uh, I mean, we have a lot to choose from. We could we could have reviewed tests or safe. <laughs> yeah. Or t- if, if, every if episode of this show is like one word. Yeah. Yep. Uh, if we had chosen to review the one after this, it would have been the Metamorpho es- episode. So I think we chose wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. It would have been toxic. <laughs> also, if you look at uh, every episode, has this basically the, the same the same thumbnail. photo of Batman <laughs> on on HBO Max. Every episode <laughs> thumbnail is basically the same photo of Batman. Wait, I just noticed that. I n- <laughs> yeah. Why? I think we've established that HBO does not care about the show whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, they don't no, <laughs> even a little bit. Listen, the only three possible people who could care about the show are in this call, and I really don't care. <laughs> but but anyway, yeah. so what happens in the what happens in this final fight? So uh, Tobias Whale stuck in a horse. Commissioner Gordon stuck in a guy with a gun. Batman frees them. Um, then he chases Humpty Dumpty through a castle. <laughs> and and which which sounds dumb, but it's Humpty Dumpty's like, man, I didn't want to do this. I was just really sad. And Matt was like, hey, you try to murder people. It's not a, not a not a good excuse. And then Humpty Dumpty climbs to the top of the tower. Uh, he recites the poem and then fucking jumps to his death. But it's a robot, and it it just it just keeps reciting the poem. And Batman's like, oh man. Good, good thing that was a robot, or this kid show would have just <laughs> got horribly canceled for having a man commit suicide in front of me. Unfortunately, it was canceled for other reasons, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he says something like, um, "Like he realized, like he he left this battle with honor. Like he he realized he was beaten <laughs> and he left, but like this isn't over." <laughs> Oh yeah, I have no yeah, idea if this what it. I have no idea if this actually was over or not. This could have been a complete. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty's got a second episode. Okay. What? It's basically the same thing. Okay. Yeah, he. Yeah, yeah. Humpty <laughs> Dumpty gets two episodes. <laughs> I feel He's like, like <laughs> that just proves the calculator theory because they could have just yeah. given. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me get Cliff Notes version. Cliff Notes version. 
he kidnaps Commissioner Gordon and Tobias Whale again, but this time also kidnaps um Batman and Katana. And he like he like sticks them in like like a saw trap. Wait, wait, Will, Thrilling. is this one of the other two episodes that you've watched? <laughs> No, that would have been awesome if I just went to Humpty Dumpty episode. I'm, like, passively aware of the rest of the show. I think, like, half the show is dedicated to anarchy, which is very funny. That is very How do you strange. become passively aware with this show? Like, no one is talking about this show. <laughs> I, I've, I've literally tracked down and watched, like, every, like, read and watched every review of this show I can find. Just because I think it's interesting, but I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> but not interesting enough to actually watch this. <laughs> no. I mean, eventually. There's a lot of Batman media out there. Yeah, there are 30 to work through before you get to this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah? That's, that's, yeah. that's Bat- Beware the Batman Episode 5. I think, I think it's paced pretty well. We've described a lot of nonsense that happens, but I think it's, it's... I think I think it it does good with the time it it I never felt like it was dragging. Um I do. Okay. Well, I don't feel like it was dragging. I just hate that like climax f- fight scene so much. <laughs> yeah, it's much. not good. It okay. was not good or So I want to describe that a little bit more. Go for it. So when we say that the the, 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 the he had the model of the castle sitting in his grandma's house and then they moved like over he had a full scale like toy soldier battle set up there and when it shifts to like the actual thing there is a full scale detailed castle that is exactly the same with a full scale battlefield that is exactly the same as on the thing but the only difference is that he is sitting up there humpty dumpty is sitting up there with a rail gun <laughs> that the objective becomes Batman has to get fucking Whale and Gordon out before either he or one of them gets blown up with Humpty Dumpty's railgun, I think. But no, they're the to- both stuck inside bombs. Well, they are both stuck inside bombs, but when were they going to go off? I don't know. Humpty Dumpty, I mean, were they? It really seems like Humpty Dumpty was just kind of winging it. No, but he got a castle. Where did the castle come from? I don't know. Did he build it? Was it just there? I, like, I, it's ridiculous. I don't know. They, uh, they, they never explained. Well, let's not spend more time thinking about it than the people who wrote this episode did. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, yeah, that was just bad to sit through. <sighs> now that's gotten me in a funk. I, I really enjoy... Something I will pay it a compliment. I really enjoyed the voice acting. Um, I think in a lot of Batman shows, uh, that that's a good point. Um, even if the animation sucks, even if the storytelling isn't great, I usually enjoy um, the voice acting. Humphrey yeah. uh, Dumpler, stand out. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. The guy who played him, uh, his name is escaping me. You can do it. Uh, it's not on the cast and crew list. I think it's Matt Jones, right? Matt Jones. Um, is it Matt, Matt L. Jones? Jones. Matt L. Jones, yes. Who is also in Breaking Bad and Home. <laughs> wait, wait, what? what <laughs> is <home>? Breaking Bad? <laughs> Uh, home, the 2015 animated movie about the purple alien <laughs> with uh, with Jim Parsons, otherwise known as Bazinga. Wait, are you sure this guy's in Breaking Bad? Yeah, he's in Breaking Bad. Who? Um, he plays fucking what's his name? Um, according to Badger. IMDb, he plays Badger. I haven't watched Breaking Bad, okay. so I don't know. I who don't that know is. if I've watched enough to know who that is. Yeah. He was also in the CBS comedy that aired from 2013 to 2019 called Mom. He was in Man Up? He played Baxter. Baxter? Yeah. Is that like Badger? Yes, it's the same character. It's a crossover. Mm. He was yeah, in Sanjay crazy. and Craig. 
Man, I love I love the segment of the show where we just list shows that the voice actors of Batman characters have been in. Someone's got to get excited. They've got they've got to be like, oh, dude, he was he was Mitchell from he the was Turkey Bowl and Mom. <laughs> the planes fire and rescue fans are going. Oh, that's <laughs> where I know him from. He's uh he's Wedge from Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's where I I knew him from somewhere. And I knew him from Planes, Fire, and Rest. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Are we mm-hmm. ready to go? Go give our let's, verdicts. Let's move on. Oh uh, no! Yeah, yeah. Verdict time. Verdict time. Um, mm-hmm. I'll go. Okay. okay. So, um, but where the Batman is goofy. I think. Mm-hmm. I think there's just a lot of like nonsense that's in like a lot of this show. But I think like. If you, like, there's a million holes you can poke at this for not making sense. Like, when the mob tried to kill Humpty Dumpty, the missile just comes out of the sky. Like, <laughs> Why no is there a it. missile <laughs> We didn't touch on that, but... They yeah, tried but to, we like, have now. There's actually... a missile that just, like, descends from the heavens. I'm pretty sure God tried to kill Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> yeah, God, God intervened, um, and all it does is, like, almost kill him. All it does yeah, is, and like, that drives get him close. insane. He's not hit by it. He's not scarred. It hits a car he was standing near. Yeah. It, and, like, probably injured other people, not him. He was the one who had the least amount to lose there. And he was like, "Ah, oh, damn you, Jim Gordon. Yeah, so, um, if you can, like, there's a million holes you can poke, poke at this. But if you can go on, like, autopilot, like, if you can just, like, just roll with the punches. There's some fun stuff in here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think if if I give this a sw- shway, this is the worst shway, and if I give it a schwarbage, it's the best schwarbage. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's shway. I think it's it's the worst thing I've given a shway so far. But I, I think I think I don't think it's schwarbage. Okay. Uh, I guess I think I'll I'll I'll, I'll go here um, because I. I'm going to give this a, a very light Schwarbage, because I agree it's probably the best thing I'm giving Schwarbage, but it's just not good enough for me to actually really want to act- actively spend my time watching it, which I think is the bar that a piece of media should try to clear. I don't like the animation. If, if it's subjective, it's, it's, you know, it's subjective. If you like it, that is, that's great. I do. I, 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 it just doesn't it just doesn't look good to me. It just I just don't like the style. I, I would mu- I much prefer any other animated Batman show animation wise. And the plot is just it's it adds some, you know, there's some funny lines, there's some like, you know, it's 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 serviceable, but it just never I don't know, it never grabbed me. There's not really anything super interesting going on. There's a a B plot that just does not connect to the a plot adds to an overarching story that you know maybe would be more interesting if i had watched any no of the other episodes about. which i yep. haven't it just ne- never really interested me in a in a great way yeah. so i'll give it a light schwarz it's Jack? not horrible but it just i wouldn't i wouldn't tell someone to Jack? go watch it jack we can't hear you uh quentin you quentin. you talk about this uh, and I'll I'll message Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems lost to you have thoughts Jack. on Jack. Uh, rest in peace. But um, yeah, to follow these guys up, I'm gonna be honest with me. you. Um, I'm gonna give it a schwarbage. Not I an because I dislike right anything in particular. It's just the whole show feels like a. Hmm. It's it's if you took something good and then put it through like a filter that was like bad and goofy. Like I feel like this could have been a pretty entertaining <laughs> version uh, or episode of Batman the Animated Series, but like you dipped it in in bad juice and it came out as Beware the Batman episode five <laughs> broken. Um, I don't know. It's just the the, the story doesn't grip me very much um i like the concept i dislike the execution uh, i like the voice acting but i don't really 
love the script very much. I like the action, but I dislike the action set pieces that are presented because the fights are so boring and basic in concept. And then they actually nail it with the execution. That's what that's what it is. The execution is good. The stuff that they're given is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, hold on, everyone. Uh, Jack, can can you say something? Y yes. Can you can you guys hear me? Yeah, he's back. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Did, no did worries. Did I did I get like cut off in the middle of anything or what? what happened? <laughs> no, you you. It was weird. You like finished a thought. Like you like put a period down and then like pieced out. Yeah. So if you kept talking, we have no clue. Because you, like, okay. you, you, from our perspective, you ended after a sentence was finished. Okay. If, if I mean, you'll, you probably caught it in, on your audio. So yes, maybe the audience have. can hear this whole, the audience will hear everything. <laughs> We're just the ones in confusion. True. And, uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you hear my verdict? Oh. At least I. Yeah, yeah. that you said that pretty early okay. on, yeah. But, uh, yeah. you didn't hear uh, the verdict, which is, uh, certified garbage. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I I think Will said it well when he said it's a it's a it's very light either way. It's either the yeah, the worst way. it's either, way it's or either the, the worst garbage. way or the best way. True. Okay. Uh, now that we finished that, we're doing something new this episode. We have a comic here, um, but here's the twist: I'm the only one who's read it, and we're gonna see the other two's reaction in real time. Uh, it's Batman Black and White issue number five. It's one of the several stories in this, so you're gonna you're gonna see. Uh, I'm not gonna show the whole thing on screen, so I recommend if you have a way, you know, pull it up and kind of do this with us. Maybe I don't know. This is this is this is like you have to like experience it to like kind of get it. I think. So I think I think that's why that's why we're doing it this way. You guys ready? All right. I've never been more ready. Okay, can you can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so so here we got um so the first interesting thing, uh the credits, like you can see on the previous story, um the credits are at the end, but here it's it's the first mm -hmm. thing you see. The credits are on the first page. And we're going to come into here. We're going to switch to Okay, hold on. We're going to switch to this. No, that's not at all what I clicked. <laughs> Technical difficulties, everybody. Not at all what Hi, I clicked, Robin. but okay, whatever. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. You're not in the story we're reading. I'm very sorry. No, but he's Robin. And what are we even doing he here? It's a, it's a good question. So, um, it starts. It starts with this panel of of the Riddler running into in uh his unmaze. Uh, he tells Batman he has a challenge set up in here. And we discover that this is a choose-your-own-adventure. What? So we will be taking on the role of Batman. Um, what do you guys want to do? Okay, so... Well, do you want us to read the... Di like, should we be reading the dialogue out loud, or... Um, do we do just we expect choose people roles? to see this? Well, just just re read, it, read it read it, quietly. Um, I'll read it if it's particularly important or interesting. But just, just like, read it in your head on these pages. But I'll, I'll, the, so the options here are, are enter the unmaze as quick as possible or not fall into Riddler's obvious trap. Okay. Well, I should I should tell the audience. I should be um mm -hmm. Yes, I, uh, yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I know this first the solution to this first puzzle. Will Will did uh share this concept with me through this one very um limited uh window so i think that this should be up to jack our, well, our decision our choice i'm just personally i'm a really big fan of falling into obvious <laughs> traps so i want to oh, my gut says go to five okay let's go to five um so yeah batman bursts into the enemies and stops killer croc from eating all the innocent orphans um it, do we want to continue we can go to page 10 or frame 10 um Man. so that seems like a gonna... huge win <laughs> yeah true how are we gonna handle all of the stuff well, that we uh all the content that we miss quentin by by making our decisions and choices all that we miss huh all, all the stuff we miss or is that because 
What are you asking? I'm confused. No, no, no. I, well, like, when we make a decision, it is one of few, you know, things that could happen. But what about all the things that could mm-hmm. have happened? Those what ifs. Well, I'll go back for this one and show. So if we choose the other one, Jack, uh, us taking a long time leads to Killer Croc eating all the orphans. Uh, Batman then is very sad about that. Edward Nigma wins. So you you chose good. True. And I, I would like to point out that it says all of the orphans from every single orphanage in Gotham. Yes, yes. Killer Croc was very busy. Yes, every single one. Okay, let's continue to panel 10. Uh, I like the the kind of reference to the animated series here. Uh, so we've made it to our our first our first real challenge. Um, do we want to move quickly and dive through the hole in the wall so we can try to capture Riddler? Uh, try to complete the puzzle or circumvent the puzzle by blowing a hole in the wall. Uh, uh, Jack, what are your thoughts? See. <laughs> I just like, I like to humor the Riddler generally. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay, my, so... I'm inclined to complete the puzzle, but I just chose the last one, so I don't want to be railroading you, Quinn. But I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sixteener. Six, sixteen is a tempting um, option. I'm. So the thing I'm thinking is, uh, the. Jumping through the hole, I feel like that might be like a pane of glass, and that he might just like fucking bonk his head. I don't know. Um, so probably not that one. So are we doing sixteen? Yeah, I'm thinking sixteen. Batman is the world's greatest detective, so identifying the correct piece is hardly a challenge. Go to thirty-two. Wait, this looks ominous. To get rid of the piece, go to thirty-one. To complete the puzzle, go to thirty-six. The puzzle piece is a bomb painted on it. Oh. Are we going to keep uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, we're going to yeah, 30. Let's humor the red light. Going to 36. Uh Batman places the piece. Oh, Batman places the piece. Uh he, he hears a click and then nothing else. Edward Nigma wins. You guys exploded. Where do you guys want to go back to? Or yeah. Should we go back to the previous juncture? Yeah, you guys seem to make it pretty far. Do you want to try that? Yeah. Okay, that was 32, I believe. We're gonna give, you know. You guys want to get rid of the piece? Go to thirty-one. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of the piece. Okay. Batman tries to lower the explosive piece to the floor. It goes poorly. It explodes again. Edward Nigma wins. Oh, <laughs> that was quite the decision we had there. Was <laughs> honestly, <laughs> indeed, it was. Where do you guys want to head, head back to? I'll take us back to, to ten. Right? There's nowhere back else. To ten. Okay. Yeah. Quinn, I so want you it, to decide between 11 and 6. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, reminder for the audience, 6, circumvent the puzzle. Uh, 11, dive through the hole in the wall to try to capture the Riddler quickly. I feel like this would be over very quickly if we did, uh, if we went to page 11. So I'm going to say we go to page 6. Okay, let's go to 6. Going to 25 to head through the new passage you've made. 26. I'm going to head on over to 25. No, it's 26, Will. It's oh, 26. 26. My bad, my bad. Chase the Riddler further into the unmaze. Go to 15. I love that. <laughs> Before Batman can catch the Riddler, he escapes into the mirror maze. Batman's about to follow when he gets a signal from Alfred. Master Brush, I've had the strangest method. It says, what's a hero without a thread? Uh, the answer is Theseus. Uh, Batman's now in a, uh, he's in a maze now. Uh, head into the maze, go to 37. Cut your way to the plans, which are underneath the floor. Go to seven. <laughs> the plans are just, just in big, bold yeah. text with an arrow. <laughs> and like a treasure chest. It's, it's very on brand for Riddler. 100%. Quinn, are you, are you on... Team humor Riddler and get the plans, or you on team just chase him? I well, that's the thing. He, th- thus far, the uh, pattern has been humor Riddler. Don't humor Riddler. Humor Riddler. I or or one two one two, and we're on one. So I guess we should humor Riddler. Let's get those plans. Cut your way to the 
go to seven, cut the way to the plan. Batman tries to make the cut as quick as he can, go to 24. Whoosh, uh, go to 18. The plans are here, but so are Killer Croc and the Riddler. Batman has to prioritize. Uh, fight Killer Croc first, fight Riddler first, or get the plans first. Hmm. I'm all about the plans, baby. Wait, what is Riddler wearing? <laughs> what is Riddler wearing? Is that... Looks like a... Is that a power suit? Is he wearing, like, a... Okay. Um... <laughs> all right, Jack, you... Are we going for the plans? I mean, Jack, Jack <laughs> decided a few. Quinn, yeah, you yeah, have a you different opinion. It. But but also, I'm, I'm down to let you guys go for the plans. It's all about the plans, baby. <laughs> Okay, go into 12. Batman needs to be quick to decipher the plans before his foes can pounce on him. Go to 30. He he, re- he uh, really needed to be quick like the Flash. It's him getting beaten up. Go to 27. <laughs> as, life leak, as the life leaks from Batman, his eyes come into focus on the plans for the building. To try to make sense of them, go to 23. They make absolutely no sense. It's a literal depth trap. Riddler rules mean there's no way to win this game. Edward Nigma will always win. Oh, that's discouraging. Where would you guys like to go back to? Oh my god. Is this what I... Is this... I think I'm finally starting to get the, the theme here. What's the theme here? The Riddler has finally figured out every single contingency. <laughs> and no matter what happens, Batman loses. Huh. Let's Let's test that theory real quick. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go to, hmm, where was, where was the page? Yeah, right here. Let's, let's try going for Killer Croc instead of going for the plans. <laughs> 29. Damn, not the plans. The plans. Uh, Batman's Batman, go to 14. Batman has defeated Killer Croc. Then on 14, Batman is outnumbered. Edward Nigma wins. Now let's try, well, let's try going for the Riddler. Yeah. Go on to page 33. The suit's formidable, but Batman is Batman. Where is Croc? Go to 35. Edward Nigma wins. I'm more like so. Killer Croc wins, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Quentin, Quentin's got a good idea. You guys, there's one more path we haven't tried. Do we want to try it out? Let's try it Let's out. Let's try it out. I think okay. it's, it's... Oh, yeah. Let's the, dive through this the hole. As well. But there's one more as well. It's follow... Uh, Riddler through the maze without going. Yeah, the yeah, blinds. we can we can check that out too. Uh, go to eleven to dive through the hole. Oops, Batman gets cut in half. Thankfully, the maze is just right here. Go to thirty-seven to chase Riddler into the maze. Uh, better to press on rather than to play Riddler's game. Then you go to nine. And drum roll, please. Maze bad enough. Laser maze. Go back to thirty-eight. Love laser maze. Oh. And. Batman believes he can get through. Go to 19. Oops. He's dead. So, That's... yeah. Well... Playing the game always results in death. But, and here's the interesting thing. The credits are here. We were never told to go to the credits. And the furthest we've gone is page 39. But there's there's 40 panels. True. There's 40 panels. Wait. So clearly, so there's 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 no way to win the game. Um, wait, Jack, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear. Okay, cool. Just just making sure. Yeah. Um, but this isn't a game. Let's let's try reading this like a comic book. Okay. Let's ignore the things that don't make sense to fall into this sequence. So ignoring the so starting here. So we're gonna chase him into the maze or chase Killer Croc. Uh, that doesn't make sense. And then, so we get to the, the, how do we, and then, okay, pa- panel eight. If we just read it like a comic, now we're at a new situation where we've just appeared behind the Riddler. Huh. By not playing the game, we get to, by, by not, like, by not doing what the Riddler wants us to do, by not humoring him, we surpass the game entirely. Do you want to chase him, go to 13, or take him down with a batter and go to 17? I mean... I can't believe humoring the Riddler didn't work. I guess concentrate him. Okay, let's go to 17. 
Mm-hmm. Oops, we dead. What did I literally just mm. say? <laughs> oh, Playing the game Don't play doesn't the game. work. Don't play the game. Don't play the game. No, so let's, let's try see. 13, though. Just yeah. to see. Just to see. Go to 13. Oops. What? What is that? What is that? <laughs> yeah, he gets cut in half. Is that a swinging <laughs> question okay. mark? It's awesome. Well, I know it is. I know it so is. So let's, let's read this like normal. Going through. Plans. That that doesn't make sense. Now we're following through the maze. That makes sense sequentially. So let's say we're following through the maze. Then let's keep going. And boom. Now we're here. And as, as you notice, there's no more instructions on this page. It doesn't say go here or go here. It's just this panel of Riddler. So let's keep reading. 21. Now this is going entirely sequentially. 21 is the next. Once again, no directions because now we're here. So Riddler's trying to escape Batman. He does so by leaping uh, into the river. The Riddler falls and drowns. There's no sign of the body. He's dead. Do we want to go to 28? I mean, I don't think it's the correct no, no, no. answer, but I would eye. like to see. Oh, yes, I would we like, should, we should I would like to see. Out. Okay, let's, let's check 28. And boom. You get riddled with bullets. <laughs> Edward Nigma wins. So, let's just keep reading. Then, inst- if we just ignore what doesn't make sense sequentially, we end up at 34. Batman knew it was too easy. The death was fake. Batman could sense him. Uh... Do we want to go to 25 to surprise him? No, but let's do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway. cool. Uh, and Kill Croc gets us. We're dead. Now, if we just keep going, 34, we can get to 39, where Batman takes out the two of them. Once again, no more instructions. Yeah. And then, panel 40. And we get this great piece of dialogue... Uh, that's the difference between you and me, R- Riddler. Only someone as sick as you could ever think this is a game. That's fucking awesome. I love this story. That is fucking yeah. cool. Because it, it's the whole thing where Riddler like perceives this all as like a game to him, but it's not. So if you're perceiving this as a game, you always lose. Yeah. But if you do what Batman does and just not fall for the riddler's bullshit you win not give a shit then you <laughs> yeah win. yeah yeah then there's a dick racing story but we're not reading that Ooh. Yeah. yeah that's cool as hell that's the way yeah. that's a great yeah. like meta narrative twist yeah. yeah okay um so yeah jack has already said his opinion quentin schway or schwarbage the uh, schway is hell I obviously think this is Shway. This is one of the best Riddler comics I think there's ever been. I think, like it, this is like a masterpiece of meta narrative work. So it's it's unanimously Shway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. True. Oh, that's sick. It is. It is much better that's... than uh, but where the Batman episode yeah. five broken. Yeah, or very true. This has something that is just interesting and worth like it's very much it's worth, worth existing. existing yeah exactly <laughs> you know um were you guys uh were you guys big choose your own adventure fans ever like you re- read those uh, uh a, a little bit mostly just for the novelty of them <laughs> i was never super into it yeah the, those are fun I, I, my mm-hmm. dad passed down a lot of like old like ones to me so cool Loved him as a kid. I always liked the ones that uh, R.L. Stein did. Um, he released like a series of them, but I never did like, never did, like the classic ones. I've always wanted to get into those. Mm-hmm. Classic ones. Now are you've fun. done the Riddler one, the most <laughs> classic of them all. <laughs> all of the orphans from every orphanage have been <laughs> eaten. Yeah, do we want to do favorite panel? I know it's a different, like, <laughs> format. Do I want to just scroll through and let you guys pick out favorite panels? There's a lot of wild shit in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the one where Batman gets cut in half by, like, this, the, the <laughs> question, big question, question mark. mark. Mm-hmm. Like, just look, like, show that panel. Like, zoom yeah, in on that mm-hmm. panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just look at what happen- is happening to his body. Like, it's, it like, crumbling. <laughs> and that is... Only the second time, the second possible way he could get cut in half. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways he can get cut. 
Um, my favorite panel definitely is um, the one the one where he's he has to choose between Killer Croc, Riddler, and the plans. Mm-hmm. Uh, not because it's particularly funny, but because you did notice it when Riddler's wearing like a power suit, like power armor, and like. It, it is. It, it feeds into the meta narrative where not where you don't notice it immediately, and it's just like, like you gotta pay attention to everything. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite, Quentin? Um, I would have to say, in terms of favorite plant panel, uh, I think it's on the next page. No, the next one. Yeah. Uh, top left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's a cool suit <laughs> like that's yeah. a, a i like yeah, the, suit, I, I like design. the <laughs> suit design i do i do it's cool but i really just like the small uh question i really like the shoe. shoe. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i love the dive okay uh so this was this episode of shui schwarbage um uh, after right i'm gonna throw up you know as i always do i'm gonna ask one of these guys to do the outro but first we're, we're doing something new now what i've i am going to te- am i gonna tell them or i'm gonna tease what we're doing next next week because we said we should do that but you're gonna tease you're gonna tease. you're gonna tease you're gonna tease okay um that's probably something i should think of ahead and of by next week them. you mean next time <laughs> yeah next yeah well yeah next next time yeah um yeah i don't yeah you're very very correct next time uh, on we're, gonna Shui do, Shui we're gonna do two comics two two silver age comics um should i give them any more than that i mean uh should we let them pamela lily and rose isley that's good yeah <laughs> Okay, uh, do one of you guys want to do the intro or outro? It's the end of the show. Man, I'm good at this. I'm Well, you can't just keep putting the outro on us on the spot. <laughs> I do the intro every episode. Um... I'm Will. And I'm Jack. <laughs> and I am not going to say my name. Yeah, that's the bit. And you have... We are Batman. cordially been dismissed from listening to our podcast. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Turn to panel two to tune in next time. Oh my god, why have we not been doing same bat time, same bat chance? Damn it!